Hi, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrocker in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You click on the Weather Now link on this Monday evening, a little after 9.30, and just a ridiculously lousy, cold, wet day today. Uh, the cold rain and drizzle continues this evening. We're taping this as of almost 9.45. And you look at the high temperatures, and this is actually historical. And here's the deal. You look at that high temperature in Providence at 43 degrees. Uh, for this date, uh, April 27th, that is the coldest high temperature recorded. The old record was 44 degrees. Uh, that was set back in 1917. So we broke that record. So it, it's, it's unique. It, it's what we call a, a record low high temperature. In other words, it's the coldest afternoon high temperature on record for this date. We should be... You know, 63 degrees. We're solid 20 degrees below average today. And we continue with the chilly, uh, wet conditions for tonight with rain and drizzle. It actually dries out beginning tomorrow. Um, so, you know, we're heading in the right direction here. Both Tuesday and Wednesday look dry. I wouldn't call it warm, but it's certainly not as raw or as cold as what we've had of late. We're thinking temperatures in the middle to upper 50, so still a little below average, but again, not as raw or as chilly. We'll even squeak out a little sun tomorrow afternoon as well. But the weather pattern remains active. Showers returning for a portion of Thursday and Friday. And I guess the thing to look forward to here is that we're seeing signs actually starting Friday afternoon and especially the weekend of much milder air settling in, feeling more like spring. And we'll show you that in the seven-day forecast. All right, satellite and radar composite, and this is as of a little after 9.30 in the evening, still showing elements of rain and drizzle coming in off the ocean. So yesterday's storm system is anchored uh, off Cape Cod, and the circulation around it is such that we're just uh, bringing in moisture from down East Maine. So in other words, the air trajectory is passing over this portion of the Atlantic right here, these um, cold waters off the coast of Maine. I mean, these water temperatures out here are running in the upper 30s, and that's where the reservoir of colder air is coming in off this uh, off the ocean and into uh, New England. So why we have the wet and the chilly conditions. So we're getting real close. We're going to walk you through it hour by hour. We're starting off this evening. Now the green, of course, represents the rain. The numbers of the uh, forecast temperatures. The arrows are which direction the wind is coming from. This little dial right in here is going to show us not wind gusts, but rather sustained wind uh, near the coast. So it's still kind of blustery this evening. Put this into motion. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a couple of wet snowflakes mixing in overnight in some areas north of Providence overnight. Now, here we are, 7 o'clock in the morning. Cloudy, drier, chilly in the upper 30s. The last of any sprinkles out towards Cape Cod coming to an end. And then here we are at um, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And while we do have a lot of clouds around, look, there's breaks in the overcast. So I do think we get some breaks of sun through the clouds. And that should boost the temperatures up into the mid-50s. So you do the math here. That's 12 degrees milder than what we had today. And take note, the wind speed's not as gusty. Here we are at uh, 5 o'clock in the evening, two and a half hours before sunset. Of course, going to love these late sunsets now. And you can see some breaks of sun through the cloud cover. So even late afternoon and early evening, we're getting some sunshine. And then tomorrow, uh, Tuesday evening, Tuesday night, clear, dry, and cool with the... Uh, light wind speeds. All right, so for, um, what's this? Oh, my bay forecast. Can't forget that. So we take a look at the bay forecast. Water temps running in the uh, mid-40s. Uh, a north wind at 10 to 15. It'll become locally onshore. It should turn uh, light southeast later in the afternoon. Unlimited visibility other than maybe a little patchy fog around sunrise. Waves are 1 to 3, and then you're high and low tides. All right, so here we are for your Tuesday morning. Cloudy start, chilly at 6 a.m., 11 a.m., 47. We're dry. And some breaks of sun through the cloud cover. Um, Mid-50s. You know, if the sun comes out maybe an hour or two longer, upper 50s. But you get the idea. It's not nearly as raw or as wet. And we got a little brightening in there as well. All right, seven-day forecast. Uh, Wednesday will feature sun to increasing clouds, but dry, 57. Bringing in some showers on Thursday. Now, I'm thinking the best chance would be Thursday morning. We get a bit of a lull in the afternoon and then a round of heavy rain and thunder later Thursday night. Now, Thursday is somewhat of a concern as far as the potential for some strong wind gusts out of the south. We're thinking there may be gusts of 40 to 50 miles per hour, so we're going to watch Thursday closely. Friday, scattered shower, but milder, 62. And there's the weekend. Looking good. Temperatures a lot milder. 
Saturday's not bad. I mean, there may be a brief passing shower, but I think a better part of the day should be remembered for partly sunny skies, dry and mild conditions. Just a random light quick shower wouldn't really cancel or wouldn't, wouldn't ruin any outdoor time that you have in your backyard or on your back deck. Of course, we're still in that social distancing here. And on Sunday, uh, looking good, sunshine and even warmer with temperatures in the middle to upper 60s. So we continue cold and wet uh, for your Monday night. Your Tuesday and Wednesday are dry. Temperatures a little better. Scattered showers for part of Thursday, part of Friday, but not the entire day. And the early call on the weekend is mainly dry and a lot milder, <laughs> finally. All right, that's your latest Weather Now update. Thanks for logging in. We'll talk to you soon.